Guess who played a whole episode of Extra and forgot to actually open Fraps? Yes, it's me. I'm probably more disappointed than you at that, so uh, please don't complain. And uh, yeah, uh, I did recorded something like 15-20 minutes of Extra, did not record, sorry. Featured about 5 runs. First two I fast quitted right off after the well, dying at the first wave basically. Uh, runs two, 3 and 4 were basically me discovering the stage and still not getting to the end. And run 5 was me actually beating the getting to the end of the stage and also doing about half of the boss. Uh, I was surprised at how well I was per performing. Probably because uh, this game gives you many lives, so really, yeah. But I didn't find the boss too, too hard. So uh, maybe I can beat her this time. Probably not actually, but anyway, let's go. The stage opens with a pretty obnoxious ferry formation, I, I, formation, I find. Basically, you can't waste too much time freezing because you've got to hunt those ferries. Uh, this the, the opening section will come back later and will be much faster and more annoying. And now here I'm busy charging for no reason and I will cut that so I can, can charge by shooting. Okay, this part reminds me of the pre-mid-boss Sakuya fairies in the embodiment of Scarlet Devil, the game with Sakuya in it. Haha. <laughs> basically just freeze stuff next to that whoops next to the fairy which spawns stuff in a circle shape and it will usually make a big enough shield for you to survive yes it did now it's the spam section nothing really no real kind of danger just free stuff when you get to 100% don't, bo don't bother shooting too much because it makes fairies turn into small point items instead of big ones. Well, that would be only if you care a tiny bit about this core. Now it's back to the opening again. Beat those fairies quickly. Move around the stage quickly. Except when you really can't. Woo! Bomb just in time. Is it mid-boss? Yeah, mid-boss! We have two mid-bosses. This is really the first main, well, first canon Toho game to introduce, uh, you know, several boss fights at once. And, whoops, and it only works because of the freezing mechanics, basically. <laughs> because uh, otherwise there would really be way too much stuff to dodge. I wonder if this, those attacks Lily White and Diose feature are the exact same ones they have as uh, stage 1 or 2 mid boss. I'd be curious to know that. Now I'm. Well, not this third one, obviously. This one is obviously completely new. I barely used my freezing just in time. And uh, apparently, Diose has a bit less life. Dunno. Also, I guess that the fact that Lily Black doesn't appear is some kind of canon proof that she is actually the same person as Lily White. That was some stupid, not really needed bomb, but there you go. Uh, let's not lose concentration. Good. And, uh... Aimed fire bullets and loosely aimed green bullets. I think that's pretty much this section. It is a bit tense. I tried to death bomb here after freezing, but didn't have a bomb. Here I also tried to death bomb, I still didn't have a bomb. Right at the end too. How obnoxious. How obnoxious. Okay, same streaming section. And same streaming section. I was wondering where those fairies were. Uh, and now back to this. This stage features a lot of recycling, you could say. 
stuff we see once comes back again later. Then now I've learned this. You've got to kill one of those fairies at the left or right, otherwise you will won't be able to freeze all this stuff. Bomb. Yeah, this is no, this is basically like the beginning but with fire bullets, which is why I don't use the, the appropriate strategy again. Oh well. I still haven't lost a life, have I? This is doing quite well. Okay. Yes, very good. Pretty sure I didn't lose a life. Not completely sure. And here is our boss. It's Marissa, complete with a new boss sprite. Because the one in the previous game was the same one as in the Perishable Night was definitely getting pretty old. And uh, Marissa's design is of course super awesome. She has everyone's favorite big hat and she also has a huge ribbon to go with a huge hat. This makes me happy. And uh, of course, what's his name? Makoto Hirakasa. His drawings are very good. Very good. <clears throat> I'm wondering about that green ribbon, it sort of feels out of place though. Man, she looks confident that she can bit Chino. Did she forget? Chino is the strongest. Number one. 